That's a nice shot. He should get two. Cross theme again, not wanting it to come back in, but so far doing it well. In the air and just wide. Just wide a line though. Damn, that was nearly actually run out. They're actually going to go for the third umpire here. It was a return flick from Haddon that caused it, but I, did he hit the hit the stumps with his gloves? I didn't know. I didn't thought he actually hit the stumps with the ball. Let's have a little look. The Fraz looks confident. It's not the ideal throw. And he's made it. He's made it. That throw had been a bit closer to the stumps. The Fraz was struggling. Easily. There it is, not out. Safraz so works that one into the onside and we'll come back for two. Well, Ramiz, the average score in One Day International's batting first year is 231. Glanced fine. That'll go away for four. Faulkner going round the wicket, but just straying in line. Trying to bowl just a little too quick. And his action went haywire. He's changed his angle from around the channel and just a flick around the corner for a boundary. So this is a good beginning for by Pakistan. Their average opening partnership is around 32 since 2012, so this is not a bad effort, 34. Steered away fine. Doherty does well, gets rid of the ball quickly, can't prevent the second run though. That brings up the half century. So a 50 stand between these two, Ahmed Shazad and Safraz Ahmed, well played. He's a good pick at the top of the order, Safraz. Always looking for runs and in between he also provides with a bit of improvisation. Just like that. More work for Doherty. And two more runs for Pakistan. Of course, the problem that Pakistan have had is with uh, Mohammed Hafiz having to go out. Deep cover. Safraz bisects the fielders. Uh, deep backward square leg and deep mid-wicket. He loves to play the sweep shot. When he plays it as effectively as that, why not? That's an excellent option. An option that Pakistan did not exercise in the last game. They were a little quite timid in their approach. And with, the, with this pitch being uh, flat at this stage and the ball not spinning, it's an excellent way of dominating a spinner. 10 overs, 1 for 45 would be a good return. Heaved away. One bounce four, finding the gap between deep mid-wicket and long arm, that's a good shot. It's the end of the over as well, and Pakistan going nicely, 67 without loss. Muscle with the spin, over mid-wicket. Good common sense batting. Taking uh, no risks whatsoever because he knew the angle in mind and uh, execution was perfect. I only wish that the next man in Whenever that happens, pressure that's been exerted by Pakistan up front. Down the ground, mid on up in the circle, good aggressive cricket. Safraz, another boundary for him. End of 16, it's 72 without loss. These pitches. Here we go. One of his faves. Ah, oh, yes. All the way for a maximum to finish the 18. What a way to go to the drinks break here in Dubai. It's 84 without loss. Look at this six here. Right in the screws, down the pitch. Got his head to the pitch of the ball first, then his foot, and really smashed it off someone's hand into the back. Look at the way he watched the ball onto the bat. Didn't overhit it. 
He just knew it was six. One of the greatest feelings in the world. You would know that, Danny. They're looking for two. He should get his 50 here. Comfortably in the end. And pumped as Safran. Helmet comes off. Dressing room is standing. And a little bit of a watershed for Safraz is his first 50 in one day national cricket. Gee, looks like he's just made his first 100. And they're giving hugs as well. And a kiss on the helmet. That's how much it means to him. Good on him. Well played. Picture says it all. 105, still going strong. Hustle for two here. Big spaces in these pockets of long on and long off, or third man and fine leg. Good over. 107 without loss. That's a nice shot sweetly timed and it hits the fence Safraz has once again found a nice angle with the spin away towards mid wicket to find the fence and Maxwell straight away under pressure Safraz very accomplished against spin and that area just over mid wicket wide long on he likes hitting the off spinners through there and once he got that once again it's a nice pitch shot for a couple of runs once again, showing control when he's uh, using his feet. It's not about hitting the ball, muscling the ball hard. It's about placing it. Yeah, it's sort of shipped over mid-wicket, getting close to it, but not too close, just being able to maneuver it over mid-wicket for a couple of runs. Flight it, I think they'll get something out of this guy, like that delivery from Doherty. Just a little bit more loop and flight and gets the outside edge because it had more spin on it. That's a strategically positioned fielder for Safraz. And gone off the first ball, so Mitchell Johnson's inclusion working straight away. He's been asked to come and provide Australia with a bit of a breather and what a response. A soft dismissal. Safraz just hanging his back to that line and just scooping that one easily to Glenn Maxwell. So another settled asset has been uprooted. Sir Fraz Ahmed batted well for a 65, it's 130 for two.